Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So we're back with the next video in the series of doing tree rings in specific designs. The last one I did was a triangle. Before that I did a square. Today I'm going to attempt a star. I really do not trust my abilities, but I'm going to try it anyways. And I'm going to post this video no matter what it looks like. So I'm very nervous. Also, someone suggested that I try it with the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint because these maintain lines very well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I have a little bit in my cup here from a previous pour I did. This is one of my double split cups. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this with a ton of really fun colors. I'm going to use a combo of warm colors and cool colors. I got white, orange, yellow, some purple, red, and then I'm going to put some gold in here as well. I need to replenish some of my colors. And I think I will, as always, use some blue. This should be very, very nice and colorful. Let's go ahead and use, I got some of this um, aqua green. That will be interesting in here. All right, I've got my cup filled up. So here goes nothing. I'm very nervous, here we go. I have to do this crisscross one, by the way, guys, because I do not trust myself to try just the outline. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up because I'm going to try to take my time as much as possible. <laughs> okay, I truly, truly did my best, you guys. So here's what I would love from you. Leave a mid-video comment, like you haven't finished the video yet, but go comment and tell me if you think this is going to look tor like terrible or amazing. Your guess is as good as mine. Either way, this video is going up. <laughs> so hopefully it looks amazing. The colors are super fun, super bright. I'm going to add a little bit of white around these edges just to ensure I have plenty of paint here and it stretches out just fine. That will help it move around. And this is a 12 by 12 canvas, by the way, you guys. So I used, I want to say about eight ounces of paint. I'm going to try to tilt it kind of towards the points, so definitely towards the corners here. And each time I'm pretty much going to go back to the center of the canvas, try to maintain that star as much as possible. Okay, <laughs> so overall I think it was pretty successful. The star definitely got a little distorted, but I don't think that's really avoidable with tilting. Um, maybe if it was on a spinner, possibly, which I might retry this one specifically on a spinner at another point. But uh, let's go ahead and let it sit for a minute and then we'll do our close-up. So starting in the lower right-hand corner here, this one is definitely super duper duper colorful and the cool thing about these paints is it will dry nice and shiny and bright just like this. It should dry basically identical to this, which I love. So there's my star. I think I did a pretty good job of maintaining it. It's a little wobbly, but even just drawing the star was super difficult. And I love this paint too because of the depth 
that it has. Look at that, crazy cool. Okay guys, so let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully I lived up to your expectations for whatever you voted earlier on, if it was gonna be a failure or amazing. I think it's pretty awesome, personally. Like I actually think I really, really, really like this. I was kind of on the fence. I was like, ah, it's pretty weird, but I think I like it. Uh, that's my final answer. So um, coming up next will be a heart shape and please check out the triangle and the square if you didn't already those were both lots of fun i'll see you all next time